good morning and welcome to my bathroom so recently i've been seeing a ton of videos on youtube from l and vogue and harper's bazaar and all the other media outlets showing how celebrities get ready in the morning and how they get ready to go to bed but i realized as i was watching all these videos that number one most of them don't look like me you know if you know what I'm saying. And number two, most of them have flawless skin. And I just feel like that's not really the situation for most of us. So I figured I'd do my own wake up with me skincare routine. But for those people who struggle with acne, like I do. So yeah, let's just get into the video. First thing I do when I wake up in the morning is grab my water bottle and i also grab two pills if you will because i feel like acne starts from within right yeah acne starts from within so i take a multivitamin and i also take spironolactone now this was prescribed to me by my dermatologist and it's basically like a diuretic or like a high blood pressure pill but it also has an effect on your hormones and it does something to your hormones because i have hormonal acne so this essentially suppresses your hormones i've only been taking it for a month and a half and it takes three months to see progress so i still have been getting active breakouts but hopefully after three months this stuff will stop my breakouts that's it And then throughout the morning, I will continue to drink the second half before I leave for work. So I drink a full one of these every morning before I even leave the house because water is essential to clear skin. Yes, it is. As of late, my skin has been extremely dry. So I'm gonna go in with the hydrating non-foaming cleanser and just wash my face. And at night, I do have a cleanser that I use that's specifically for my acne, but because in the mornings your skin's not really that dirty, it's good to use a gentle cleanser. So now it's time to treat all of this that's going on on my face right now. So the first thing I go in with is my holy grail of holy grails for dark marks this is the skin medica 2.0 latera and i'm not gonna lie this stuff is expensive it's very expensive not not even expensive and expensive but i think it's worth every single penny whenever i have these hormonal breakouts where my skin just has a ton of hyperpigmentation i grab a bottle of this and it really helps to start lightening up my dark marks so i take about a pump or so of that and i just pat it into my face so after i'm done patting in my serum to my face i go in with my clindamycin and oh, you can't see the label there it is uh, it's clindamycin and benzoyl peroxide and this is a topical antibiotic yes it's a topical antibiotic and this is to kind of kill the germs that cause acne on your skin so this is how it comes and i just take a dot or so of that and pat that into my skin as well then i go in with my moisturizer so this this is the CeraVe PM moisturizer, but I use it in the morning. I feel like the only difference between the PM and the AM CeraVe moisturizer is that the morning one has an SPF in it, um, but I have my own SPF that I use, so I feel like I don't really need the AM one, so I use this one in the morning and at night. That way, I only need one bottle. So I take about a pump of this moisturizer and put it on my skin. All right, so second to last step is an eye cream. So I use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Eye Cream. Honestly, I'm not too picky when it comes to eye creams. I kind of feel like as long as my 
eyes are moisturized, I'm good to go. I don't really have like crow's feet or anything just yet. Pray to God that doesn't happen for like another 100 years. And you wanna use your ring finger because that is the finger with the least amount of pressure. And my last step is sunscreen. This is probably the most important part of your regimen or my regimen or anyone's regimen if you struggle with hyperpigmentation because if you go outside and you are not protected with sunscreen, your dark marks will get darker. So I use the Ulta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum um, and it's SPF 46. I like to put a lot on because, you know, I like lots of protection. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. And I like this sunscreen because it doesn't leave too bad of a white cast over your face. And it also doesn't like start to beat up. You know how some sunscreens beat up if you put it on over certain moisturizers or serums. This doesn't do that at all. So yeah. And last but definitely not least, I know I said sunscreen was last, but I lied. I'm sorry. Lips are definitely last. You can't be walking around with crusty lips, you know? So you gotta give your lips some love too. And I just use this Laneige sleeping mask. I know most people put this on at night. I put this on throughout the day. And I just take some, I take a lot actually. I love this stuff. And put it. all over my lips. So that is it for my acne and hyperpigmentation morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. And if you struggle with acne and hyperpigmentation or just imperfect skin in general, know that it's still beautiful. You're still beautiful. Literally feel comfortable walking out the house without makeup because beauty is not just clear skin and no pores and long lashes and thick eyebrows and the whole nine it is whatever you look like so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all in my next one peace